Hello and welcome to the Regional Health Report. I'm Ann Krebs. This monthly program highlights the world-class health care provided at each of our Regional Health Command Atlantic Medical Facilities to soldiers, their families, retirees, and other beneficiaries. Wellness, readiness, and resilience. The Army relies on these components of good health to keep soldiers fit to fight. Local Army community centers benefit from Army Wellness Centers. The Regional Health Report visited Army Wellness Centers at Fort Drum, New York, and Fort Bragg, North Carolina to see how they target individual health and wellness needs. Army Wellness Centers exist to build health. They use a primary prevention program to provide soldiers, family members, and other beneficiaries to improve overall healthy lifestyles. Sarah Stedman of the Fort Bragg, North Carolina Army Wellness Center said people should take advantage of what they have to offer. Wellness is every single day, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed to the time that you're sleeping even. Um, so we're trying to take on all areas of wellness, whether that's stress, uh, nutrition, physical activity, sleep. They take on health challenges using tools to address lifestyle behaviors holistically and over time. The Army Wellness Center Toolkit includes healthy nutrition, physical activity, health assessment reviews, stress management, general wellness education, and tobacco education. Army Wellness Center patrons define their own health goals. Corporal Jeremy Gordon is an Army musician stationed at Fort Drum, New York. He found it challenging balancing his performance and travel schedule with a proper diet, enough exercise, and adequate sleep. Then he found the Army Wellness Center. I set a goal with the Army Wellness Center to lose, uh, get down to 175. Back, at, uh, back in the beginning of uh, this year, 2015, uh, in January, middle of January, I set a goal of uh, 175, I was 212 at that time, and I'm now 180 pounds. Um, I, uh, um, I would recommend it to anyone. Army Wellness Centers don't only improve unit readiness, but the program can also help soldiers avoid overtraining and related injuries by discovering the right amount of activity for the individual. Staff Sergeant Matthew Williams suffered substantial weight loss during a deployment due to stress. They offer a lot of good uh, good options here for soldiers uh, in my position who come back from a deployment and you know they come back maybe in a different physical condition or recovering from an injury so I, I use that to my uh, benefit. But the Army Wellness Centers are not only for soldiers. Fort Drum civilian Joe White joined the center and has lost over 65 pounds so far. He speaks firsthand about the health benefits a change in lifestyle can bring. Everything you, you know you hear about uh, with weight loss I, I had some uh, uh, back problems. I still have a little bit, but my back problems um, literally um, have minimized. I was using a CPAP machine for sleeping. Don't need that anymore. Um, you know, all, all those things that you hear about, yeah, if you lose weight, you can this, that, and the other. And, and um, mm -hmm. so that's all kind of been falling right in place. There are three ways you can take advantage of an Army Wellness Center. You can be referred by a health care provider, you can be referred by your unit, or you can make an appointment yourself. Nurses and health educators are waiting to build a personal wellness program for you. For the Regional Health Report, I'm Star First Class Aisha Austin. The start of a new year is a great time to take advantage of programs at your local Army Wellness Center. The Army Performance Triad, focusing on activity, sleep, and nutrition, is a great program for maintaining health. But the nutrition component is not as simple as it sounds. What should you eat and how much of it? Registered dietitians have the answer. Jerome Banks has a story of the Fort Drum Commissary Tour where shoppers learn to eat their way to wellness. Because soldiers face challenges and demands that may impact their individual readiness, the tour is geared primarily towards soldiers in the Army Body Composition Program. Nutrition instruction in the program includes lectures, where the components of a healthy diet are explained. The commissary tour is a practical application of what is taught during nutrition classes. Most people, that when they go to the commissary, they have no idea what to buy. They become overwhelmed at the choices. And what we do is really try to narrow those choices down to some really healthy choices. And we kind of show them, walk them through, and show them exactly what they need to do to eat. 
Brooks said the biggest thing people can do to improve their nutrition is learn to read food labels. I mean, the biggest thing is people just need to take a few minutes to read a food label and see what's actually in it and look at that food label and find out you know how much fats in the product how many calories what the serving size is many people don't understand what a realistic serving size is and many people actually eat above and beyond what that serving size is so they need to look at that food label and, and really adjust those calories and that fat th that protein to really what they're actually eating so this is 71 percent fat so you know we looked at some bacon products that were like 70 70 percent fat right so so that's pretty high in fat. Um, a lot of people don't really understand, um, you know, how much fats, like say, in, you know, when we looked at the bacon and sausage, you know, really understanding, you know, what the percentage of fat, fat is coming from. The big misconception among soldiers is yeah. that they believe they can't afford to eat healthy. Really, it's really opposite. It's true. It's really inexpensive to, to eat healthy. It's just knowing what what to buy. Uh, two pounds of bananas is about a dollar fourteen. Okay, that's. Two pounds of bananas for a single person is enough to you know last you at least a week. You know, that's a lot of bananas. Okay. You know, and the example I give the, the soldiers is for okay. about five dollars you can buy like this case of soda, but for the same amount of money you can buy fresh vegetables, some good protein, and some carbohydrates, some healthy whole grains. It makes them realize, hey, you know, I actually can can eat healthy. Private Jeremy Burgos plans to put what he learned on the tour into practice. I'm, I'm glad I actually took this tour because now it made me think about looking things uh, way more closely than what I should have in the first place. For the Regional Health Report, I'm Jerome Banks. To take the commissary tour at your installation, call the commissary or ask a health care provider at your hospital or clinic. And finally, taking a look around the region, Kinner Army Health Clinic at Fort Lee, Virginia was recently awarded the Army Safety Excellent Award streamer. Kinner earned the award by having no serious injury, accidents or loss, or damage to high value materials over the past year. The safety streamer represents a medical facility's commitment to safety and quality health care. And that's the Regional Health Report for January. Join us next month for another show highlighting health care across the region. In the meantime, don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thanks for joining us.